Hi, I'm Ann Shorling with the PSIA Alpine team. Whenever I'm looking to go pick a line in powder, it can be tempting to think that all of the snow is gonna be the same and beautiful and soft. What I do when I pick a line, however, is I actually try to notice what the surface of the snow can look like. Sometimes, when you get a lot of wind, it changes the texture of the snow and can make what I think is gonna be a soft, fluffy line kind of firm and terrible. So, the first thing I'm looking for is what's on that surface. If it's totally smooth and even with no striations, it's probably just soft, beautiful snow. If you're looking at it, however, and it starts to have some little texture on the surface, it might have been wind affected. And then as the, that texture gets bigger, that's telling you it's been even more wind affected and it's probably gonna be pretty firm. So when you're picking your line, first look for places where the snow is totally clean and soft. Second, you wanna be aware of what's on the side of your powder run. The new snow can cover obstacles just by a little bit, but you will still hit them if you ski through it. For example, if you're skiing down a chute, you wanna notice if there are rocks on the sides and give them a little bit of a wide berth because usually the rocks on the sides have smaller rocks that creep into the chutes. So you wanna ski right down the middle. Same thing in the trees. You wanna notice that there are a lot of really small trees and kind of stay towards the middle as opposed to getting closer to the taller trees on the side. That'll help make sure you're gonna hit fewer obstacles under the snow when you're skiing powder. For more tips like this, talk to your local PSIA certified ski instructor.